Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 372. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And before we start, I have to do a bit of housekeeping. Like um, last week, if you may have noticed on the YouTube page, we the video for last week was not the video, well, the normal video with the whole me fleeing arm stuff. So uh, what happened is that I was distracted and got into the habit of doing things how I used to do, which is, um, well, what I was presented. And yeah, that was my derp and my bad. Uh, so I, the only thing I can say is sorry, and I'll try not to do it again. So yeah, so let's get into the news. So first on the news is My Little Pony is Watch Mojo's top pick for most unexpected fandom. So Watch Mojo is a YouTube channel that mostly does top tens from what did they do before i don't remember but they do a lot of top tens and my little pony friendship is magic has been on the list before uh, either from watch mojo itself or the sister site watch Mo- miss mojo and well it's pretty interesting like if you want to go check it out go do so and i'll just say that this one for most unexpected fandoms yeah i can see that i can see that because um Within the top 10, uh, they mentioned something like Five Nights at Freddy's, they mentioned Homestuck, they mentioned Benedict Cumberbatch, and Instinct Clown Posse, and so on. And right at the top is My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. But at the same time too, they didn't really go in depth in what makes the fandom special. They just showed clips of... um, the brony con or what was it called um brony the unexpected my little Pony fandom that john delancey made and mentioned that hey uh, there's a documentary based on that and they didn't really mention who made the documentary and whatnot i mean it'll be cool if they say oh john delancey was behind this thing or stuff or they, they could have gone in depth and more about how the fandom is very really generous with their charities and whatnot I mean, it's putting a spin on, sorry, it's putting a positive spin on the fandom and whatnot. I mean, other fandoms do so too, I think. But it's just like, if they're just doing it for the shock value, then yeah, I guess it works. It's shocking that a lot of adult male like the show. So, ooh, it's very different it's not normal but in all honesty it's eh it's nothing new it's a good show i mean remember that show way back when i'm blank well let's go for buffy remember buffy the vampire slayer the tv series i mean if you really look at it you could say that it's a show for um female empowerment probably I'm thinking I mean it's just a show I don't really get what people are saying Eh. so to me a list is just a list and if they're just doing it because ooh it's so shocking eh, I guess it works They, they got hits they got people to look at their video so yay them I guess so anywho, let's move on to the next news. And I have to say that the next news is a bit strange. Because Stranger Things, Applejack, now on Amazon. So, <clears throat> if you got no idea what Stranger Things is, it is a show on the Netflix, I think. Is it now? Yes, it is. So, uh, it is a show on the Netflix about if I was not mistaken, they set it during the early 80s? During those times where the whatchamacallit Nintendo Entertainment System was kind of a thing and arcades were a thing. So anyway, uh, what they <coughs> did was they created this. Ponies! Yay! Um, what, 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 what this? What this? <laughs> So, um, 
it seems like said pony here is Applejack and uh, it is done in the G1 style if I'm not mistaken so anywho um, they created Applejack in the G1 style but it's gray with black mane and the apples are upside down what <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken also uh, they're saying that uh, what's this uh, Stranger Things release its newest uh, season yesterday and announced last week they have an exclusive tie in My Little Pony Toys starring an upside down old school style Applejack technically she's a target thing but they are listing them on Amazon as well so I guess this uh, this wasn't a target exclusive so okay Apparently, a bit of My Little Pony sneaks into the recent season 3 too. Keep an eye out. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. And almost I got no idea. Um, this is one of those things where... Why would they do this? I, I guess it's for the tie-ins and whatnot. If, I guess if you're a collector, you can get them. It's on Amazon. Yay. So... What can I say? It's just a toy. <laughs> um, basic fun. Yeah, and also this is just a replica of the 1980s. Yeah, okay, cool. In all honesty, folks, I got no idea. This is just... Looks like a toy? Feels like it. I mean, it's an exclusive tie-in with Stranger Things. And the strange thing is that it's just a recolor and stuff. I got nothing more to say other than that. Like, yay! Uh, honestly, I got no idea. I mean, and and honestly, it's not gonna be a big part of the show. I if I'm wrong, do let me know. But I uh, I, I got no idea. Like, Stranger Things. I heard a lot of good things about Stranger Things. Other than that, I got no idea. So anywho, that's the news for this week. <coughs> and it's a bit of short news to this week. Except if you want to talk about the leaks that came out from China. And which I didn't really put in the show notes. But hey, there's episodes, new episodes like 14, 15 and 16. They're out. So... I'm not going to say where you can find them. I mean, if you are savvy enough, you can check it out. But why spoil yourself? This is the last season. Like, just hold on for a bit. Enjoy the moment. But anywho, uh, other than that, uh, what have we? What have I been doing with my week? So, uh, what have I been doing with my week? My week has been really interesting, where... I watched a movie this week, yay. I uh, got the time to watch a very interesting movie. Um, uh, interesting is not the right word. It's action pack and whatnot, but it's Spider-Man Far From Home. And <coughs> the movie was fun. Uh, I enjoyed the movie. It's one of those things where this is the final phase for the third phase before going to the fourth phase and the end ah, no, the ending raises a lot of questions so does the movie but it was a lot of fun watching it it was a lot of fun uh, a lot of people enjoyed it some people I heard said that it felt like Iron Man 2 where it's fun flashy but it felt off in some places for me personally, I enjoyed it, but I think this is the first time where in a Marvel movie where I got no idea where the direction's going. And by that, I mean, uh, I, I'm, I ain't no comic book buff or guy. I just know from what I see of uh, Linkara's explanation or things I see on the YouTubes talking about certain storylines or plot lines or games that I played before like the Marvel Ultimate Alliance series and yeah those are some of the backstories I can get 
like with for example um this 22 movie arc where it culminates in uh, Avengers Endgame I kind of get the overarching story of what's going on where <coughs> the Endgame was uh, collecting the Infinity Stones Thanos getting them and the heroes defeating Thanos and since a few things are changed like for example uh, Civil War and since Sorry, the way that they did Civil War was a bit different from how the comics or the game did it. So, but I still got a vision of how things were going. But for this one, the end of Phase 3 and the destiny of the Spider-Man, I got no idea. Like, going to Phase 4 is going to be a blank slate for me where I'll be as clueless as everyone else. Like, what's going to happen like what is the full story for this one and the pros and cons and stuff like I, I am at a loss like seriously this is one of those scenarios where what's going to happen to the characters so maybe I need to watch a lot of more uh, YouTubes about stories and whatever. maybe I just need to watch something to explain what happened to me or maybe I can just ask a comic book friend to explain it to me. I mean, I have a few of them. Who knows? So, for the first time ever, I got no idea. I am in shock and I got no... I, I don't like that feeling of not knowing. Or at least having an educated guess. For this one, I am in the dark. And I don't like it. So, yeah, that's my experience with Spider-Man far from home oh uh, the movie itself was a lot of fun I do like the scene where uh, Peter is traveling to Europe Europe is a fun country I've been there once and I, I'm guessing most of you live there yay and <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a scene in the movie where uh, I, I don't think this is a spoiler but it's in the uh, trailers and it's where they're showing a shot a screenshot of the river in Venice and you can see something's moving in it and <laughs> me and my friend we're, we were sitting together and I, I think I hear him say oh what's that what's that and I just blurted out oh it's an enemy stand <laughs> uh, Jojo fans will appreciate that one <clears throat> but other than that like it was a fun movie and I say go watch it. Like, if you do follow the Marvel Universe, uh, Cinematic Universe movies, go watch it. If you're a casual fan of the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe, I say go watch it. And if you're a Spider-Man fan, I say go watch it. It's really interesting. If you don't have the cash for it, you can wait it. <laughs> you can wait until it pops out on the Netflix or wherever it's available at. Or just go to the movies when the ticket prices are cheap. Mine's usually on Wednesday. But other than that, I got no idea. So yeah, uh, that's my experience with the Spider-Man. Yes. So, um, let's end this. Let's wrap this up. So if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can do so uh, at dmbshowgmail.com. Um, let's see yeah uh, questions concerns suggestions for the show contact us at mbshowgmail.com you can also reach us on the twitters the show's twitter account is at MBS show, and my personal twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes YouTube and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and switch radio and also like our Facebook page you can also catch us on ponyvalive.com links are going to be in the show notes also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and also Torterra, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and specials, little movies in between. And also, we like to do other things. For example, Miracle City Debug's one of them. Movies, uh, video games, 
And what else? What else? What else? Animes. Yes, we we like to do the animes sometimes. The animes are fun. Yes, fun animes. So do check us out there if you are the traveling type. You can <laughs> you you can always check us on the YouTube's. It's there, but it's not very portable, is it? But anyway, that's that's an option. iTunes and this radio. Yes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also Master of Light. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. <laughs> See ya.